Coupé. What's good, YouTube? It's your boy, Greg. Go crazy, go crazy. Yes, we are back here with another video. Now, before you do anything, go on and press that like button for your boy. Go on and press that subscribe button if you are new to my channel. And turn on the post notification bell so you can be notified every time I drop a new video. Now, as you can see by the title and the thumbnail, this is the most toxic lineup to run in NBA 2K23. Now, me, my player height is 6'9", and the other two players to the right of me are 6'11 and 7 foot, and the other one might be over 7 foot. But in this shut them down event that they had in the theater, if you don't know what it is, I'm telling you, you run a lineup like this, you are guaranteed to almost not lose. And the reason I say this is because every time you get a block, that's a score, and every time the opposing team misses and your team gets a rebound, that's a score too, plus the buckets you actually actually score so let's say I get a block that's a point for us if they get miss a shot here. and I get a steal or a rebound that's a point for us again now look you can run it up real quick if you know what you're doing with the right people as you can see right now the score has been ran up already it's 9 to 1 already it ain't even been a full minute into this gameplay it ain't even been a full minute and the score is 9 to 1 already. That's what I mean. This is the most toxic lineup because you're not getting no boards. And you better know how to score. Look at our center. Oop, Iso, excuse me. Hit him one more. Excuse me. And he ends up getting a dunk off. Who is beating a team like this? Who? We was playing a lot of people. And we messed around the team. They was talking in game chat. So we end up winning the game like we should have. And so we go in the game chat and they start talking crazy. I'm like, yo, y'all doing too much for nothing. This is not my fault y'all came out here and lost us. We was just out here chilling, playing the game. I ain't know it was going to be like this. You know, I was just messing around. We just wanted to test this lineup out for real, for real. But as you can see, I end up throwing a lob right there. It does not end up going as planned. But it don't even matter because you want to know why? Because it don't matter how much this other team scores. They can't miss, and they better be better than us, and they most definitely are not. But as you can see right here, I end up trying to take an easy dunk, and I do end up getting it off. But like I said, man, this event was crazy in the theater. But as you can see, one of my teammates ends up jumping, and they do end up scoring. But you want to know why? We're not even worried about it, man. Because you want to know why? We can all score and get a bucket. As you can see, I hit that ball with a cross. I'm trying to do something. You see, I end up getting to the rim, getting another easy dunk off. You know, just trying to secure the win. Now, as you can see, the put him in the box cam has popped up. Now, y'all know when this can pop up, this is a special type of box right here. This is 24 seconds of straight clamps. You cannot score. What are you going to do? You better find a way to score. You see, they got 10 seconds left on the clock. This player is out of adrenaline. Now, look, he's not even really doing nothing. Look, his teammate's trying to do something. He ends up hop-stepping. We end up trying to get the block. But I get the rebound, as you can see. And, yes, my player does get the rebounding, too. He gets bronze rebound chase. He does get it up to silver, but I don't have really enough bash points for it. But I can get it up to silver if I tweak a few things on this build. But right now, as you can see, I over here skip to my little excuse me. I end up dying my teammate in the corner. He ends up pulling up green bean. And that's the end of this first gameplay. We end up beating these boys 23 to 13. Now let's get on to the next gameplay. Now, as you can see in the next gameplay, I end up dying him again in the paint. Because what you're gonna do, you can't stop a 611 if you got like a 66 guard. You're not stopping him. No day of the week. But right now, as you can see, we do end up getting the steal. Our center ends up, he just messing around. All right, so you see me on the back door. And I end up getting an easy dunk off. As you can see right now, the score is 7 to 1. Now, these boys I ain't know what they ran into. I'm not going to lie. I knew what they was running into as soon as they walked into the lobby. I already knew it was over with. Buddy got a hot dog on his head. He didn't have no chance of winning. He didn't even know what was going on. You see, they end up trying to throw a lob. Now, why would you try to throw a lob when you got two? 
six eleven players on the court. Why would you even attempt to try that? Because you knew you wasn't gonna get that old. He tried it on one of them, but you're not trying to get it off on both of them. That's not even gonna happen. But I do end up fouling him right here. Now, as you can see, Buddy with the hot dog on his head ends up trying to pull up, and that's another break. Now, the thing about this event, like I said, man, if you miss and we get a board, that's a point for us. So if you can't shoot, that's it for you. But I, you see, I can, though. You see, I can, though. Green Bean in the corner. What is you talking about? Stop playing. If you don't know what the jump shot is, go check out the video. The video is on my channel for this jump shot. Now, another thing I don't understand, y'all seen that little play right there. You see, I end up trying to get the steal. Now, I do have Workhorse on Hall of Fame. Why do I have a badge if it don't work? Why didn't it work at that moment? And you see, they tried to go for another alley You, Why would you do that? But it's all right. You should end up dotting my teammate in the corner, and he ends up missing the shot. It's all right, though. It's all right, though. We all miss sometimes. I ain't worrying about it too much. They down as it is astronomically bad. Now, you see, they tried to go for a back door. I don't even know why he tried to go for a back door. At this point right here, I thought Buddy had quit and gave up. I would have gave up, too. Because what I'm going to do, I can't shoot the ball because I got a great lockdown on me, a.k.a. me. And then I can't go on the paint. All my teammates can't go on the paint, either. They got two 6'11 players protecting the paint. What are we going to do? Like, look at them. They don't even know what to do. Buddy just started holding the ball at this point. I could tell you that gave up. I already knew what it was. That's another 24-2. It's all right, though. You see, they end up flopping. You see, my teammate end up going in the post on them. Because what you going to do? What you going to do if I space out the other center space out? What you going to do if he put you in the post? You ain't going to do nothing. And he ends up getting the steal. Now, right here, I don't know what he was on, bro. I don't know who he think he was. But, hey, man, it is what it is. But he ends up getting another steal. And that's another point for us. The boy got two points off of two steals. That's why I said this lineup is toxic. But you see, he does end up shooting a regular shot this time, man. He does end up gaming it. Now, if you see this video on your timeline, please like the video. We end up beating them boys 22 to 3. Now, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe if you are new to my channel. I'm still uploading as much as I can, and I'm out, man. Peace.